Have you ever seen a birria pizza? No, you haven't, because we're going to make it today for the first time, and it's going to be beautiful. I'm nervous. Woo! We're going to New York. Oh my god, yeah. I need a really good drink what? and my ass hurts because <laughs> I've been sitting for five hours. Okay guys, day one of filming with Rocco. How are you feeling mom? Nervous? I'm excited. Yes, nervous. I'm gonna meet Rocco. Rocco Despirito. Day one of filming. Thank you, thank you for pronouncing it properly. You're the first person who can handle the, the and the three syllables and the musicality of it. Because you know, in America, I, I dumb it down to Rocco di Spirito. No, so, well, it's But really, it's good Rocco di Spirito. Rocco yeah. di Spirito. Yeah. You see, I got it. Thanks for inviting me. I'm excited. My For You page girl has come to life. That we met the on uh, the doctor show, yeah. and uh, our chemistry just hit. And this is when we said, okay, we got it. We gotta combine our dishes together. So we came out with this beautiful idea. And do you wanna explain sure, it? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, we thought we would take a couple of popular Mexican dishes and a couple of very popular Italian dishes and blend them and mash them up. We're starting, of course, with your birria, yes. which you're gonna show me how to make today, right? To start the birria, you're gonna need chuck beef roast, you're gonna need chile guajillos. And you need to devein and deceive these like this. Look how pretty these are. Chile puyas. Yeah. You're gonna need the chile de árbol. Ooh, there's a live one. Ooh, some ginger, and you need the fresh. You can't use the powder. You're gonna need also some garlic, bay leaves. We have the sesame seeds, whole cumin, uh, oregano. This is dry oregano. And over here we have the uh, the whole peppercorn. Yeah chicken bouillon, and then this will be here. That's your secret. Right this, this, this That's is my the secret, magic right? ingredient, yep. That's and some white vinegar. So we're starting with a pre-baked pizza crust. There are really good ones out there now, so you know, use them. You don't have to make your own pizza dough. Making great pizza dough start to finish can be a 72 hour process, you know, so this is a super, um, I would call this a triple A shortcut. Oh, and so awesome. we're gonna turn this into a meat lover's pizza with, of course, your birria as the star. So this is your birria with the, the sauce drained away, and uh, marinara sauce. This is an easy, quick marinara. You can buy, of course, pre-made if you want. You can make your own to make your own super but easy. But what is the secret to the best marinara sauce? Great tomatoes. I have a mixture of Oaxaca cheese and mozzarella, which That's to be very similar. That's our culture combined. Yeah. Oaxaca from Mexico and the mozzarella from Italy. From Italy, yes, Southern Italy. I have some bacon, because what meat lover's pizza would be complete without bacon, and some fried basil that I thought would oh be a fun gosh, garnish. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this. I love the fried basil. And this is what it looks like before we cook it, but we're gonna make one fresh. But I think now we should learn how to make birria. I'd like to see it All right, so from let's the birria get queen herself. Let's get started with the birria because this is gonna take two hours and a half to cook. All right, show me the magic. So we start with a big pot of boiling mm -hmm. water. All right, Rocco. Meat in the water. First, we're gonna boil our meat. Okay. Okay, we're gonna So put right into hot water? Right, right in the hot water. You wanna add a whole onion. onion some garlic. A whole head of garlic and bay leaves. This, this is feeling is pretty Italian right now, by the <laughs> really? way. Really? Yeah, wow. This is the beginning of every Italian sugo. That's nice. Jenny, don't we need some salt? Yeah, we need some salt. So it's salt to taste. There you go. So now let's cover and cook for an hour and a half. I'm like the creepy guy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have hydrated our chiles, let's put them in the blender. Beautiful! <laughs> it is. I'm learning the Jenny lingo. Look at all this. So now, let, wait, hold on, hold on. Oops. So now we're, what we're gonna do. No we're Lisa? Going, no, no Lisa yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're gonna drain all that water. Uh -huh. And usually this is the, the way I do it. Just, it's easier. So you don't me. need any of this liquid. We this don't need this liquid. Maybe, 
you because you know it. what? You know what's gonna give it the flavor, Rocco? What's that? It's gonna be the beef broth. Got it. Okay. The broth where we cook the meat. All right. So now that you've removed all that water from the chile, we're gonna substitute it with the beef broth. Is it's, that spicy? It, for no, you? it doesn't taste as strong as I thought it was gonna taste. <laughs> Obviously, all, right. all the flavors in there. So you add one cup of beef broth, and this is where you start adding all the spices. So two tablespoons of sesame seeds, two tablespoons of dry oregano, two tablespoons of whole cumin, Full. two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, and this is the secret, guys. I'm telling you. It That's just what makes it beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna need eight of the whole peppercorns, right here. And I think I this is another important ingredient, vinegar. Yes, white vinegar, right here. Just a splash. We're gonna add more garlic to oh, this. Oh, so all of it goes in. Okay, yeah, wow. so okay. garlic, yep. okay. Garlic, yeah. Where's the remaining bay leaf? Right here. Here. Bailey, right here. Right yeah. here. So right here, we're gonna add that and the ginger. But we need to peel this. Need to peel it? No problem. I can <laughs> do that. I, can, I got it. I got it. All right. Well, there we go. Now we're gonna blend it. No oh, basil. No, 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 no basil. Oh you my want God. to? You no, want to? No, I'm kidding. So now let's make our salsa. And let's see. Is this off right here? Uh, so this is the on. <laughs> yeah. Make sure everything is on low. <laughs> Make sure there we go. On low. Thank All right, you. Go, 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 go. You see, this is where I need the muscle right here. You want a fine puree? I want it really fine puree. There we go. <laughs> Can you smell it? No. Yeah, no, it smells no, 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 no. We need more. more. We Keep need going? more. Yes. Right. Just a little more. That is so pretty. That's where all the color comes from, huh? Elisto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenny, so what happens next? We do... So now that we have our salsa ready, mm -hmm. we're gonna pour it inside. And again, this meat has been cooking for an hour and a half. You want, you gotta make sure that it's halfway cooked. And now we're gonna put the sauce. Ooh. Just like that. That looks so let's listo. Mix it. It's not yeah. listo though, I know. <laughs> no. So now we're gonna cover it and let it cook for another hour. Okay, Rocco, so now it's your turn. Take All right, it over. I'm ready, I'm ready. We're gonna make a uh, Mexican birria pizza. So it's half Italian, half Mexican. The meat lovers part of the pizza is gonna be all birria with a little bit of bacon. Let me show you how we start. Oh We're gonna start with a pre-made crust. Uh, you can see it's been doxy these holes. That helps the dough to stay nice and flat oh. and crispy. Why is that? Like just to So it, it helps it stay flat and crispy so it doesn't all bubble up. And it also oh, gives it an opportunity it, for it. air to flow through so it stays crispy. See? Yeah. I learned something. Yeah. Now, to uh, the contradiction of what most people believe, pizza sauce is not cooked. It's always raw tomatoes. Oh. So it's either raw tomatoes in a food mill or canned tomatoes that because are it's almost Because eventually going to cook in the exactly. oven. Okay. Exactly. All you right. don't need to make a ragu. You don't need to make a sauce. You just need delicious raw tomatoes. And most times, there's nothing else in the, in the mix. It's just the tomatoes. All right. Lightly coat the bottom of the crust of the marinara sauce. Leave about an inch. Uh, rim okay. that doesn't have sauce or cheese. Okay. Yeah, otherwise you end up with pizza Wait, spilling over the sides. You don't want that. Uh -oh. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is put the birria. This is your birria. It's been strained, it's been uh, chopped up, okay. uh, flaked. So in Italian uh, pizza making, we use our hands, all right? Don't be, oh, don't be awesome. afraid. Don't be right. afraid. And well, this let is, me get this Go for it, yeah. There? So since this is a meat lover's pizza, we're gonna put a lot of meat on it. This is a little bit of an Italian-American style pizza. In Italy, pizzas have very few toppings. It's very lightly dressed. It's all about the, the sort of perfection of the crust, the dough, the flour, the water, and the, and the beautiful, uh, fresh buffalo mozzarella cheese. Okay. But I'm gonna put a lot on it because I know our viewers are gonna want a big Oh my God. I wish you guys can smell this. I love it. And the cheese is a blend of Oaxaca cheese, which is very similar, it turns out, to mozzarella. They mozzarella both is, melt the yeah. same, and this is where our yeah. cultures kind of uh, blend. <laughs> so, so one of my favorite dishes is tacos al pastor, which is originally a Lebanese dish that moved to Mexico with Lebanese immigrants. So this fusion, this idea of fusion, has been happening for thousands of years, and I'm pretty sure the Chinese invented pizza anyway. So if I did the research and went way back 5,000 years, <laughs> they invented everything. So, But it's beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to put cheese on top. Oh. Uh, Oh, I love we want it. a nice, thick, it. heavy layer of the mozzarella and Oaxaca cheese. And then I'm going to put bacon on top of that. Because this is uh, Applewood smoked bacon because okay. everybody loves bacon. Of course, bacon is everyone's favorite snack food. This is enough for two to three people. Okay. One really hungry person. 
So is this considered like a medium size? Yeah, I would say this okay. is a medium size. This okay. is an eight inch or 10 inch crust. And so now we're gonna put some basil on top. You oh, could put Parmigiano yeah. Reggiano because why not? Parmigiano okay. Reggiano, Reggiano is, and then a little bit of olive oil. The olive oil adds some flavor. Obviously the fat in the media is gonna provide some of the fat. But another thing the olive oil does is help the toppings cook because it transfers heat yes. in the convection part of the oven. I think it looks beautiful. It looks amazing. It's ready to go in the oven. My oven strategy is make sure I find a good spot for it. This oven happens to be pre-equipped with this rack and the rack is perfect for pizza. So watch, I'm gonna put the pizza on top of the rack and then I'm gonna slip it off. Oh my Just gosh. like you would in the pizza oven. Beautiful. Now, it is beautiful. <laughs> Check the temperature. Pizza has to be cooked at a high temp, so 425 for about 10 minutes. Don't let me burn it. All right, I'll remind you. This is smelling amazing. And it looks great. The cheese is melted. There's even some of the beautiful birria fat. Oh, See that yellow God. fat? Yes. Yeah, that's usually in the consomme, right? When you dip it. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, cool. yes. So all we have left to do is to taste it. That sounds good. You hear that sound? Oh, that nice that crack. Did you yep. guys hear that crack? Oh my god. I honestly can't wait to try it because it smells so good. And isn't the bacon a great aromatic? Do you it smell is. that smoky I bacon? Smell yep. the bacon, basil, the consomme of the birria. Oh my gosh, let's get our consomme. And beautiful! <laughs> it's spicy. Wow. Is it? It's good though. Yeah. Is it spicy for you? Yeah. See, I pronounce it consomme. Got it, got it. And you pronounce it, it yeah. how? Uh, consomme. Consomme. Yeah, yeah. So we just try to clean it as much as we can. Okay, so we're gonna dip our pizza in here, and oh my god, those flavors are just gonna blend perfectly. Okay, let's do it together. Oh my gosh. It's definitely heavy pizza. Heavy. Okay, so let's see. If I can let's grab it. This smells good. All right, mine is. Right, I have to watch you do it first. Okay. All right, look at Feel this. Feel free to fold. All right, you gotta show me that. Like this? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that basil. Oh my god. Dip. You see all that juice? The, the whole pizza crust. It just it absorbed in. it. Amazing. Okay. And be careful. Ready? It's hot. It's hot. All right. All right, let's go for it. Mmm. Oh my god. So good! Oh my god. This is good. That works without question. <laughs> that works. And look at that face. Mm. Do I have berry fat on my face? Yes. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so don't forget to give me that subscribe and that like. And don't forget to follow Rocco at, at Rocco Despirito on YouTube and TikTok. Bye guys. We have pizza in our teeth, I'm pretty oh sure. <laughs>